Are you ready to slide into visible thinking? You're going to learn strategies for enhancing learning within your classroom. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to review how you can find visible learning and what visible thinking is. We're going to be showcasing our understanding and how we get our students to showcase their thoughts when it comes to visible thinking. How do we provide feedback to our learners as well? And then if you're wanting more because you just are so interested in learning more, we're going to talk about how you can find additional templates to be able to be used in your classroom. First up is I'm Stephanie Howe. I'm a teacher success champion here at Cami. We also have Greta. Greta is a technology and digital design coordinator. The what, why, and how to visible thinking. When it comes to visible thinking, it is the processing and organizing of information. So it is allowing our students to have time to go in, take that information and really process and organize their thoughts. The why, it helps improve memory. It also improves students' understanding and allows them to make different connections with what they learned with some spacing practices as well. It helps boost creativity and helps with communication of students communicating what they just learned about. Students are also going to gain problem solving skills throughout this process. And then the how. There's a couple different resources that you can use when it comes to these thinking routines. One of our favorites is Project Zero, where you're able to come in here and search different categories and routines that you can use within your classroom. Greta and I have created a bunch of different templates in order to support you in your classroom as well. There's also K20 Learn, where there's a bunch of instructional strategies that can support students and reflect on their learning. So let's go ahead and view the steps. Step one is you first want to find a visible learning routine. So first you want to come into the bank and you want to search for one of these routines that you want to use within your classroom. For us, we wanted to use sort, connect, and elaborate. So again, we're ready to go in and search in Project Zero, K20 Learn, and we're now ready to sort, generate, connect, and elaborate. So with this activity, students are going to list out their ideas, sort, connect, and elaborate. We just took what we found on Project Zero and we took that routine and we added it into Google Slides. Once we added it into Google Slides, we're now ready to have our students complete the activity. And so now we're ready for our students to showcase their understanding. And with this, we're going to use a tool called Cami. Students are going to take this Google Slide and have the tools within Cami to really think about and generate and connect and elaborate their ideas. So I am going to go to my Google Classroom and I'm going to hit create a Cami assignment. Once I hit create a Cami assignment, I'm going to go ahead and name this that assignment name. So again, we're going to do generate, sort, connect, and elaborate. I'm going to add it from my Google Drive and I'm going to search for that activity that I want my students to complete. And again, I'm going to attach that onto my Google Classroom. Once I do that, I can decide if I want to be the collaborative activity. But for this activity, I'm going to make a copy for every single student. However, some of the visible learning routines are really great as collaborative activities. I'm going to go ahead and assign this to my students. And now my students are ready to showcase their learning in this topic. Students are going to go to their Google Classroom and open up that post. So right here is that generate, connect, sort, and elaborate assignment. And they're going to go ahead and click open with Cami. Once students open this up, they're ready to make those connections. So for example, they're going to generate first the list that comes to mind when they think about a topic. So they're gonna grab that text box and students are gonna come in here and maybe write Google Classroom, right? If we're talking about Google, they might add Google Meet. Students might come in here and think about collaboration. Students might even add in here Google Sheets, right? And so again, students are just listing out multiple different ideas 
when it comes to using Google. So all I did was I gave them a topic and now students are really thinking about what is it when it comes to using Google. And students, again, can come in here. You could have this be a collaborative, but for right now, this is a uh, activity that we are doing solo. So that is something that students are able to think about as well. Right, I think about storage maybe. And so students, again, are gonna come in here and write all of these different ideas onto the board. And now that we have all of these different topics laid out, we're ready to sort. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sort our ideas. Central ideas are going to go towards the middle and our tangible ideas are going to go towards the outside. So professional development, I might put communication out here. I might even put um, devices. I might add storage, productivity. Okay, but I might keep all of these little Google products right here in the middle. Okay, so those are kind of maybe my central ideas about Google. And now students are going to make connections. So they are ready to connect. Students now are going to use the drawing tool and they are going to draw these different connections. So if I am doing professional learning, they might connect Google Forms with professional development. They're going to come in and use maybe a text box to write out their ideas. They can even say their ideas about Google Forms and professional development. Students can even do a screen capture or videotape their ideas when it comes to using Google Forms and professional development. When I'm thinking about collaboration, students might add to here the Google Doc, right? And so again, they'll grab that comment tool add either a text comment about that collaboration and how they're able to really maybe have it be a central hub within uh, Google Docs and Slides. So maybe when I'm doing collaboration, I can talk about how it's so important for Google Classroom to act right as that central hub. So I might also connect with here, this idea, and I also might come in and connect Sheets, which we had, and I might also come in and connect um, if I had Google Slides or something like that written down. So again, students are making these connections, they're drawing those lines. They can also change the color if they want to on their lines. Once students do that, they're ready to now elaborate. So once they've connected, they're now ready to elaborate. They're going to add additional ideas based on this kind of uh, connection that they've just had and really think about how they might do real-time collaboration. So now students are either gonna, again, grab the text box, maybe the audio, video, or screen capture, and add additional ideas when it comes to that collaboration. Um, so now what I might say is like real-time collaboration is super important. And so they can go into a comment they already have and elaborate even more. If you were having students work collaboratively, they could add on to each other's ideas as well. So this can be a great activity for your students to complete. And now we're ready to give feedback. So again, that was the student side where students were coming in, adding their ideas and providing their feedback on this activity where they generated, sorted, connected and elaborated. So step three is feedback. How do we view our students work? And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Google Classroom. And once we're in here, we're going to go to that assignment, generate, sort, connect, and elaborate. We're ready to view these instructions. And now that we're viewing these instructions, we're going to come in here to class view. Using class view, I'm going to be able to see all of my students at the exact same time. And so what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to come in here and see how each of my students are doing on this activity. So I'm going to be able to see how every single student is learning in that real time on this assignment. And I can come in and provide feedback to my students and provide them with different resources and different scaffolds to help them understand. And I can even use the text box to give them some feedback. I don't just have to stop there. I can also leave an audio recording to my students to provide them with that feedback as well. So students are able to have 
not just text, but multimedia responses when it comes to feedback in this um, activity. I can also come in and see the connections that my students were making and provide them with additional steps or additional extensions as needed. I can also provide my students with maybe some scaffolds. Maybe they didn't quite understand the directions here. I could come in, record my voice, make sure you generate, generate a list of when you come to think about the topic. Students are going to get that automatically on their activity. Right here, they can listen. They can also turn on and generate those captions, and they're able to listen to this quick idea when it comes to listing this idea and when it comes to mind. So lots of different ideas for students as they're making those connections on this activity. I can even come in and see how my students responded and leave feedback to them. So this is a great way to review your students' work by using Classroom and providing that multimedia feedback in real time to your students. And step four, maybe you're seeking more. Maybe you're looking for more strategies that you can use within your classroom. And so with this, we've got a bunch of different resources that you can click by going to this link right here. And once you go to that link, you're going to be able to find a bunch of different templates and strategies that you can use within your classroom. So for example, rock, paper, scissors, color, symbol, image, I used to think, compass, pass, triangle, circle, square, word, phrase, sentence, generate, sort, connect, elaborate, glow, uh, glow and grow, what, why, how, choice boards, why, and three, two, one. To access this resource, you'll go to this link right here. And once you go to that link, you're gonna click on this resource and it will take you to either a resource on what the strategy is about or the Project Zero resource. If you click here on the uh, yellow, you'll have the template that you can use. And sometimes there's a Google slide template. There is also a video resource that can walk you through each of these different steps so you know what to do and how to use these kind of learnings within your classroom. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and give visible learning a try in your classroom today.